What's going on YouTube? Scott here with Trash to Cash, baby. Trash to Cash. So when I'm making these videos, I like to do it a little bit different than everybody else. I like to buy these items, um, sell the items, and then you can relate to what I bought it for and what I sold it for in the same video. I mean, I do like making the sold videos. Those are fun as well. With that being said, enjoy the video, watch the whole thing, because there's a lot of good pointers in this one. If you're looking for a new way to source, I'm telling you, buy stuff on eBay and resell it back on eBay. I've been doing it for years. And how do you do that, you may ask? It's very simple. You're already on your phone all day, you're listing stuff on eBay off your phone, so you might as well source on eBay, buy. So you just gotta kinda know what you're looking for. Like I always say, use your niche, use what you collect, use whatever you're familiar with, things like that. Uh, like me, it's always fishing gear and vintage hats. I know all about it. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna type in a keyword. So what I use is vintage pen reel. You're gonna change it to new listing and literally, yes, refresh it every minute of the day. I'm telling you, it works. There's people that are listing on eBay that don't know what they have and they're listing at a low price and a lot of them put it at a buy it now option. So you'll buy it right away as long as they're, they have that option. That's how you jump on the item real quick. You're the first one to see it at a good low price. You select the buy it now option as long as they have that option and you buy the item. It's kind of like the same aspect as garage sailing. You know, you want to be the first one at the garage sale, uh, 6, 7, a in the morning, find the good items. Or it's like Facebook Marketplace. You know, you search on Facebook Marketplace, you want to be that first person to see it and message them and go buy the item. So I'm using eBay in the same aspect. You want to see it first. So in the last couple weeks, I decided to do it with hats because I've been going to those thrift stores, buying a lot of hats and making a lot of money off these hats. So I thought, well, I do it with fishing gear on eBay, so let's do it with hats on eBay. So all you have to do is type in vintage hat lot, click new listing and literally refresh it every few minutes of the day. And the key word in that, in that phrase, in vintage hat lot is the word lot, which is a, a group of hats. Could be eight hats, could be 80 hats, I don't know, 8,000 hats. And the thing about that, a lot of people don't know what they have. They just use the generic name vintage hat lot and don't even put any of the name brand hats. So that's where you take advantage of it. You scroll through the pictures, you look at the hats like, oh, that's a Budweiser hat. Oh, that's a Miller Lite hat. Oh, that's a Coca-Cola hat. Oh, that's a Ferrari hat. And you know, you see a good buy now option at a low price and you buy it. All right, let's dive right into it and check out the hats that I bought. They didn't pack this one very well. Hopefully everyone's fine. Oh, these are the, the really nice hats too. Of course, they didn't put in a box. But we should be good. So I bought these four hats for $19.99. All exotic car hats. Very, very nice hats. Audi hat, Mercedes-Benz, Maserati, and Ferrari. So I bought these four hats for $19.99. I'm gonna be able to sell these hats anywhere between $10 and $25 a piece. So do the math. Let's dive right in and look at the hat lots I just bought on eBay. All right, let's open her up. This lot's a big lot. I paid uh, $69 for all these hats. I think there's over, like, over 50 hats in here. Really good deal on it. I got a lot of, a lot of nice hats. Let's take a look at what we got. Oh, yeah. I 
nice vintage Raiders hat right there. Very nice. St. Louis Rams hat. Pepsi Racing hat. NCAA uh, Final Four 1994. Vintage hat right there. St. Louis Rams hat. Got a lot of these in the lot. There's some brand new ones here. Let's see if we can find them. 1999 Conference Champion hat. St. Louis Rams. Illinois football hat from the 1990s. Kansas City. New era hat. That looks like new old stock right there. NASCAR 2010 hat, pit hat. Brand new with the tags. It's a nice hat. Nice Ford hat, with like a bottle cap opener on there. Brand new with tags. Oh, Super Bowl, 1999 St. Louis uh, Rams hat, brand new with tags. Man, we got so many hats in here. Another Rams hat. 63 Vet hat. Chicago Bulls hat. Another nice St. Louis Rams hat. It's like brand new. Wow. That's interesting. There's batteries in it. Lights up. That's cool. Oh, this is nice. It's a, f a fly fishing uh, rod company hat. It's a blank hat there. It's interesting. Interesting hat. Airliner hat. Bar and grill. Hmm, cool. University of Illinois hat, vintage Denver Nugget hat, Michigan State Spartans hat, that looks like a California hat, Indiana Hoysers, another Chicago Bulls hat, the hat, corduroy hat, steamboat, that's kind of neat. That's pretty cool. St. Louis Rams hat, lights up, the one with the batteries. <laughs> so far on that big hat lot that I bought, I made over $145. I still have 30 some hats to sell and it's gonna be a really good profit on this buy. Thank <laughs> you.